Have you ever met a little girl who seemed to exist in her own world, unbothered by the typical playground politics and social hierarchies that consumed her peers? Maybe you were that girl the one who preferred creating elaborate stories in her notebook while others played hopscotch, or the one who asked questions that made adults shift uncomfortably in their seats. If this strikes a chord, you might have encountered or been a young Sigma female. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating topic that's rarely discussed the childhood experiences of Sigma females. And let me tell you, these truths might make you see your own childhood, or perhaps your daughter's behavior, in a completely different light. Before we delve into the harsh truths, let's set the stage for understanding what makes a young Sigma female truly unique. Unlike the typical social butterflies or the naturally rebellious children, young Sigma females operate on a completely different wavelength. They're not better or worse than their peers, they're just fundamentally different in how they view and interact with the world around them. This difference often leads to misunderstandings, challenges, and sometimes even conflicts with family, teachers, and peers who might not understand their unique approach to life. The foundation understanding young Sigma females. Picture a classroom filled with young girls, while most are eagerly raising their hands to answer questions or whispering secrets to their best friends, there's one girl who seems to exist in her own sphere. She's not shy or antisocial, she's simply content in her independence. This is often the first visible sign of a young Sigma female. These girls don't fit into the typical social hierarchies that naturally form among children. They're not leaders in the traditional sense, nor are they followers. Instead, they create their own path, often leaving adults and peers alike puzzled by their unique approach to life. The journey of a young Sigma female is marked by distinct characteristics that set them apart from their peers. Their independent nature, critical thinking, and unusual maturity often make them stand out, sometimes in ways that create challenges for both themselves and those around them. Understanding these traits isn't just about identifying them, it's about recognizing their value and learning how to support these unique individuals during their formative years. 1. The Solitary Soul Understanding the Young Sigma's Need for Solitude In a world that often equates childhood happiness with constant social interaction, young Sigma females stand out for their profound appreciation of solitude. This isn't just about being introverted, it's about having a deep, almost intuitive understanding of the value of spending time alone. During lunch breaks, while other children cluster together in noisy groups, the young Sigma female might be found sitting quietly under a tree, completely absorbed in a book or lost in her thoughts. This behavior often raises concerns among teachers and parents who worry about their social development. But here's what most people don't understand for these young girls. Solitude isn't a sign of social failure, it's a conscious choice and a vital source of energy. They use this time alone to process their thoughts, develop their ideas, and recharge their emotional batteries. While other children might feel anxious or lonely, when not surrounded by peers, young Sigma females find peace and clarity in these quiet moments. The challenge comes when well-meaning adults try to force them into more social situations, believing that a child spending time alone must be unhappy or maladjusted. This misunderstanding can lead to unnecessary stress for the young Sigma female, who may begin to question whether there's something wrong with their natural inclinations. It's crucial to understand that their need for solitude isn't a problem to be fixed, it's a strength to be nurtured. 2. The Question Master Challenging Authority and Seeking Understanding One of the most striking characteristics of young Sigma females is their insatiable curiosity and their fearless approach to questioning authority. Unlike their peers who might accept rules and explanations at face value, these girls have an almost compulsive need to understand the why behind everything. This questioning nature isn't born from defiance, it stems from a deep-seated need to understand the world around them on their own terms. In the classroom, they're often the ones raising their hands not to answer questions, but to ask them. Why do we have to write in cursive, why can't we solve the math problem this way instead? These questions might seem challenging to teachers who are used to more compliant students, but they represent something profound a young mind developing its critical thinking skills and forming its own worldview. This questioning nature extends beyond the classroom into every aspect of their lives. At home, they might question family traditions or challenge long-standing household rules. In social situations, they might question the unwritten rules that govern childhood social interactions. This constant questioning can be exhausting for parents and teachers, but it's a crucial part of how young Sigma females make sense of their world. 3. The Goal-Oriented Mind Early Signs of Exceptional Drive While most children live primarily in the present moment, Young Sigma females often display an unusual focus on future goals and achievements. This isn't about simple daydreaming or fantasy. These girls often set concrete objectives for themselves and work systematically toward achieving them. Whether it's mastering a musical instrument, learning a new language, or saving up for something they want, 
They show a level of dedication and focus that can seem almost adult-like. This goal-oriented mindset manifests in various ways. They might create detailed plans in their notebooks, complete with timelines and steps to achieve their objectives. They often show remarkable persistence in pursuing their interests, even when faced with obstacles that would discourage most children their age. While their peers might give up on a difficult task after a few attempts, young Sigma females tend to view challenges as puzzles to be solved rather than roadblocks. Were the emotional landscape understanding the unique emotional world of young Sigma females. The emotional world of a young Sigma female is like a deep ocean calm on the surface but rich with complexity underneath. Unlike their more expressive peers who might wear their hearts on their sleeves, these girls process emotions in a fundamentally different way. They often exhibit a level of emotional control that can seem almost unnatural for their age, leading to misunderstandings and concerns from adults who expect more typical emotional displays. These young girls often experience emotions just as intensely as their peers, but their approach to processing these feelings sets them apart. They might sit quietly with their emotions, analyzing them with an almost scientific curiosity, rather than immediately expressing them through tears or outbursts. This internal processing can make them appear stoic or even cold to outside observers who don't understand their unique emotional landscape. During moments of conflict or stress, young Sigma females often display remarkable composure, while other children might burst into tears during a playground dispute, these girls are more likely to step back, assess the situation, and respond with calculated rationality. This doesn't mean they're not affected, they're simply processing their reactions differently, often choosing to work through their emotions in private, rather than in public displays. Their emotional intelligence often manifests in unexpected ways. They might show deep empathy for others while struggling to express their own feelings verbally, they could be incredibly attuned to the emotions of those around them, but prefer to offer practical solutions rather than emotional comfort. This combination of emotional awareness and rational processing can make them seem older than their years, sometimes creating a gap between them and their peers. 5. The social selector crafting meaningful connections in childhood. Young Sigma females approach friendship with the precision of a master craftsman, carefully selecting their social connections based on depth and quality rather than quantity. While other children might proudly boast about having dozens of friends, these girls often maintain a small, carefully curated circle of close relationships. This selective approach to friendship isn't about being antisocial or elitist, it's about valuing authentic connections over superficial ones. Their friendship selection process often puzzles adults and peers alike. They might pass up opportunities to join the popular crowd in favor of spending time with one or two like-minded individuals. These choices aren't made lightly. Young Sigma females often have an innate ability to recognize genuine connections and prioritize them over social advantages that might come from more strategic friendships. In group settings, they often display an interesting paradox. While they might be perfectly capable of engaging with larger groups when necessary, they rarely seek out such interactions. Instead, they prefer one-on-one -on -one conversations where they can explore ideas and share thoughts more deeply. This preference for depth over breadth in social interactions often leads to stronger, more lasting friendships, even if they're fewer in number. The challenge comes when their selective nature in friendships is misinterpreted as snobbery or social awkwardness. Teachers might worry about their limited social circle, while parents might push them to make more friends. However, these well-meaning interventions often miss the point young Sigma females aren't failing at socializing, they're simply choosing to socialize differently. 6. The Independent Spirit Nurturing Self-Reliance in Young Sigma Females the independent spirit of young Sigma females is perhaps their most defining characteristic, manifesting in ways that both inspire and concern those around them. This independence isn't just about doing things alone, it's about developing a strong sense of self and the confidence to follow their own path, even when it diverges from the expected norm. From an early age, these girls show remarkable self-sufficiency in both practical and emotional matters. They might teach themselves new skills through books or observation rather than asking for help. They often prefer to solve problems independently, viewing challenges as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles requiring adult intervention. This self-reliant nature can be both a blessing and a challenge in their development. Their independent spirit often extends to their decision-making process. While other children might look to peers or adults for guidance on everything from clothing choices to hobby selection, young Sigma females often make these decisions based on their own preferences and reasoning. This independence in decision-making can sometimes lead to conflicts with authority figures who expect more compliance with conventional choices. However, this independence doesn't mean they're completely resistant to guidance or support. 
Rather, they prefer to receive information and advice that they can process and integrate into their own decision-making framework. They value mentorship that respects their autonomy while providing them with new perspectives and knowledge to consider. 7. The Achievement Philosophy Understanding Success Through the Eyes of Young Sigma Females Young Sigma females often develop a unique relationship with achievement and success that sets them apart from their peers. While other children might be motivated by external rewards like gold stars or praise, these girls typically develop their own internal metrics for success. This intrinsic motivation often puzzles adults who are used to more conventional approaches to encouraging achievement. Their achievement philosophy often revolves around personal growth rather than competition with others. They might be less interested in being the best in their class and more focused on beating their own previous performances. This internal focus can sometimes make them appear indifferent to traditional forms of recognition, when in reality they're simply measuring success by different standards. These young girls often set ambitious personal goals that might seem unusual for their age. Whether it's mastering a complex skill, developing expertise in a niche interest, or creating something entirely new, they pursue these goals with remarkable dedication. The challenge comes when their chosen achievements don't align with conventional expectations of what children their age should be focusing on. Their approach to learning often reflects this unique achievement philosophy. They might show intense focus and dedication when studying subjects that interest them while appearing disengaged from topics they don't find personally meaningful. This selective engagement can be frustrating for educators who expect consistent performance across all subjects. 8. The Natural Leader Unconventional Leadership in Young Sigma Females The leadership style of Young Sigma females often manifests in unexpected ways. Unlike traditional child leaders who might be vocal, outgoing, and naturally commanding, these girls often lead through example and quiet competence. Their leadership isn't about seeking power or control, it's about natural influence that emerges from their authentic way of being. In group settings, they might not be the ones volunteering to be team captain or raising their hands to be class president. Instead, their leadership qualities shine through in more subtle ways. They might become the go-to person for solving problems, the voice of reason during conflicts, or the one whose opinion carries weight even when quietly expressed. Their leadership often emerges most strongly in situations where their unique capabilities are needed. During group projects, they might naturally take on the role of organizing and directing work not through asserting authority, but through demonstrating competence and offering practical solutions. This natural leadership often draws others to them, even when they're not actively seeking followers. The challenge comes when traditional leadership roles are imposed on them. While they might excel at natural leadership, they often resist formal leadership positions that require them to conform to conventional leadership styles. This resistance isn't about inability, it's about preferring to lead in ways that align with their authentic selves. Nine. The family dynamic navigating home life as a young Sigma female. The home environment presents unique challenges and opportunities for young Sigma females. Their unconventional nature often creates interesting dynamics within the family structure, requiring both the child and family members to adapt and find new ways of understanding each other. Within the family unit, these girls often play unique roles that don't necessarily fit traditional family dynamics. They might become the family problem solver, the voice of reason in conflicts, or the one who asks the difficult questions that others avoid. This role can be both empowering and challenging, as it sometimes places them in positions of responsibility beyond their years. Their relationship with siblings often differs from typical sibling dynamics. They might be less interested in typical sibling rivalry and more focused on maintaining their independence within the family structure. This can sometimes create tension, especially with siblings who desire closer or more conventional relationships. Parents of young Sigma females often face unique challenges in understanding and supporting their daughter's development. The traditional parenting approaches that work well with other children might need to be adapted to accommodate their independent nature and unique way of thinking. 10. The Future Impact Long-Term Implications of Early Sigma Traits The characteristics that define young Sigma females often become powerful assets in their adult lives, though the journey to that point can be challenging. Understanding these long-term implications is crucial for parents and educators working to support these unique individuals. Their early independence often develops into strong leadership capabilities and entrepreneurial tendencies in adulthood. The young girl who preferred working alone might become the innovative business leader who isn't afraid to challenge conventional wisdom. Their early comfort with solitude often translates into strong decision-making abilities and emotional resilience in adult life. The questioning nature that might have frustrated teachers becomes a valuable asset in professional settings, 
leading to innovation and problem-solving capabilities. Their selective approach to relationships often results in strong, lasting professional and personal connections in adulthood. However, it's important to recognize that the path to achieving these positive outcomes requires support and understanding during their formative years. The way adults respond to and nurture these early Sigma traits can significantly impact how well these girls integrate their unique characteristics into successful adult lives. Conclusion Embracing the Journey of Young Sigma Females Understanding and supporting young Sigma females requires a delicate balance between nurturing their unique qualities and helping them navigate a world that might not always understand their approach to life. These girls aren't problems to be solved or behaviors to be corrected. They're unique individuals who bring valuable perspectives and capabilities to their families, schools, and eventually, the adult world. For parents, educators, and other adults in their lives, the key lies in providing support while respecting their independence, offering guidance while acknowledging their capability for self-direction, and creating environments where their unique qualities can flourish rather than being suppressed. Remember, the traits that might seem challenging in childhood independence, questioning nature, selective socialization, and unique emotional processing often become the very qualities that enable these girls to make significant contributions to society as adults. By understanding and supporting young Sigma females, we're not just helping individual children, we're nurturing future leaders, innovators, and changemakers who will approach the world's challenges with their own unique perspective and capabilities. The journey of a young Sigma female might not be the easiest path, but it's one that often leads to extraordinary destinations. By understanding these ten harsh truths about their childhood experiences, we can better support these unique individuals as they develop into the remarkable adults they're destined to become.